Welcome back. This is what coon flushing a 50 year old Indian can do sometimes. Why? Well, let's find out. My Celica had been rebuilt at some point, like 25 years ago, but no consideration had been given whatsoever to removing anything again, so just getting this 5 bolt manifold flange loose was a pain. It looks like the bolts had been tightened so hard, they pulled out the threads when I removed them. Onto the manifold. This thing is just wedged in there. This had clearly been fitted first, and then the rest of the exhaust had just been welded on. So I ended up sawing off the manifold. And here's the culprit. One of the freeze plugs had eroded all the way through and when it I flushed the system, it took away the rust and dirt that held it back together and uh, it threw up all over the manifold. So I started punching it out. Be careful doing this, uh, that you don't punch the plug into the cooling channel inside the engine, then you're basically screwed. See if you can pry it to one side using a large flathead screwdriver and kind of wiggle it um, until you can get hold of it with a pair of pliers. And there.
and there it is. You can see just how gone it is. Using a piece of cloth as a wig and siphoning out some of the coolant uh, as to not having to drain the entire engine as you need the cooling level uh, a little bit lower than the hole when fitting the new plug, um, especially when using gasket maker. As you see, the sides are fine, the problem being that it had sat with only water inside the block for 20 some years and it just eats all the metal away. Preparing the plug hole with a piece of 300 grit wet sanding paper, uh, just giving the gasket something to cling onto. I always use a gasket maker when we refitting freeze plugs. It makes sure they don't leak. Um, well, some do it without, but this is a little piece of free insurance, so why not? Make sure you remove uh, all the remaining gasket and then tap the plug gently into place. Always try to get it as straight as possible. Um, do a little at a time and only just flush with the tapered hole. Onto this piece of crap, um, the wrap is just so brittle and glass was just flying everywhere, so so decided on wearing some safety equipment before tackling this mess. Having worked a lot with fiberglass, uh, it always sucks to get glass in your hands and lungs, so um, started taking the wrap apart. Not one. Not wanting to have this everywhere, I got a bucket and started unwrapping this mummy.
and what was once a nice manifold is now just basically trash. I'll try and salvage just uh, as much as I possibly can. And the rest of the exhaust uh, clearly isn't a labor of love. These bends have been heated uh, and bent using a blowtorch, so they're just all ruined and collapsed. Also, the welding here is clearly done with everything on the car and leaking pretty bad. Again, the blowtorch bends. So I decided to just get the best out of it, um, as I didn't want to do another manifold just yet. So cut it into pieces and refitted stuff to make it fit and flow better. Putting it back on the car for checking uh, clearances before welding it back up. And this is not going to be a masterpiece of any kind, but it's going to fit um, and it's going to be removable without taking the car apart or cutting the exhaust. And it's also going to have a lot better ground clearance than before. And there it is, from one horrible hack job to another. Then I rewrapped it in some titanium wrap, mostly just to cover up the horrible manifold. and put it back on the car. And now it has a lot better flow, uh, better clearance, and most important, it can easily be removed. Back up top, I know that part of missing all the coolant, um, the problem had been overheating and then expanding water would just run out the radiator cap, so I wanted to make some sort of an overflow tank. So I've got this and I'm gonna be building a bracket for it.
I know this type of tank um, is with a cap for pressure and I'm not going to be using it as part of the pressurized system so I modified it to vent into atmosphere. Also wanted to start fitting uh, my new aero parts, my fender mirrors and so on, so took the front apart. And I found this asphalt looking crap. I know that rust proving a car this old is good, but come on. This will also hold the crap and stones. The tires fling up, um, so when the fender moves, it will dig into the paint, having the well opposite effect. So off with most of it and just giving it a good clean. And otherwise, the metal is pretty sound and I haven't found any rust so far. Back under the air dam, this model fits in the space of the original rubber gasket between the fenders and the lower front cowl. And surprisingly, it doesn't. Um, again, I guess it's just me and fiberglass parts. Um, but this was the only one available at the time, so I just went with it and I'll have to redo it at some point. For now, I just decided to fit the fender mirrors and then tackle the arrow later. And there you go, a little less 80s, um, roadworthy-ish, and ready for the big road trip. And celebration cruise.
Road Trip with the Boys, where we just mostly talk politics and eat salad. Salad and politics over, we drove uh, home. And trying to keep up with all that American muscle, this happened. So, back on the trailer and a long ass drive home wondering what the hell went wrong this time. Stay tuned. Stay tuned.